Hey guys, how's it going? Brad here, and I thought I would do a little bit of a different video today. Um, I had a great week, uh, just typical standard week actually, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, we had an Overwatch team, Toronto Defiant, come into the city this weekend, and they went to EB Games in downtown Toronto, and that was really cool. I ended up uh, hanging out in the store and uh, watching everything going on. It was very cool. And uh, there were kids and adults like on mass there was easily I'd say easily 200 250 people in line it felt like a midnight launch it was crazy but uh, with that um, as you can see I've got all these cans in front of me now I have to explain what this is about now I'm in my 40s I've been drinking since my early 20s I didn't start drinking until I was 23 and when I started drinking uh, I was drinking with a friend on his birthday and uh, I didn't feel like drinking when I was younger but I decided okay it's your birthday I'll I'll drink I'll drink a drink so we tried uh, beer just standard beer I can't remember which brand it was but uh, I remember trying three different beers and I did not like them and then eventually ended up trying a Mike's Hard Lemonade and that was amazing like I love sweet drinks I, I have a sweet tooth so when I tried Mike's Hard Lemonade, I thought it was fantastic. And then uh, I moved on eventually, after a few years, I found Smirnoff Ice, they had their coolers, and that was pretty amazing. And then uh, I'd say about four or five years after that, I started drinking like mixed drinks, my own mixed drinks. So like my favorite mixed drink is vodka and 7-Up, so vodka 7. But uh, I also like dark rum and Coke. Not rum and Coke, dark rum and Coke. Uh, I just love that the flavor that dark rum has, it's wonderful. But I've never actually been into beer. And I got into a discussion, uh, it has to be at least a couple of years ago now, uh, I got into a discussion about the difference between beer and cider. And I've been told repeatedly that cider is not the same as beer. And I have several friends who only drink cider, they will not drink beer. So I was curious uh, to broaden my horizons when it comes to alcohol and I wasn't sure what to do and then I remembered a, a couple of my friends who do love cider and I was like I've never actually tried cider. Like I've had it described to me that it's not like beer, it's less fizzy, it's more fruity because it's made from a lot of different fruits and uh, I never actually tried it though, like not even a sip and I just like like my coolers or had my mixed drink like I never even considered trying it but I thought you know what I'm in my 40s so I'm just gonna try to expand my horizons and just try cider for the first time ever so I tried I, I picked up five of these uh, two of them were recommended for my uh, from my friend who's now in Ireland. He was here for many years, he moved back to Ireland. He recommended Strongbow and Magners. Uh, I believe Magners is the one he said has a different name in Ireland, but um, these two he recommended. And then I had um, the one on the end here is a rose cider and that's uh, brick, what is it, brickwork? Yeah, Brickworks Cider House. So this was recommended by one of the ladies at the LCBO here in Toronto. It's our liquor store. Um, she recommended this. I said, well, I've never tried ciders before. My friend recommended these. And she goes, oh, you may want to try Brickworks. Uh, they're usually a very sweet cider. So I decided to pick one up. Uh, this was the only one they had in stock at the time. Apparently they have multiple ones. And then these other two I've also heard quite a bit about, and that's Growers. And this is the Honeycrisp Apple. They have several ones, but I just like the name Honeycrisp Apple. So I'm very curious what this one's gonna taste like especially. And then the Summer's Bee Pear Cider. So I'm gonna try this one as well. This one, we have a whole bunch of different brands of this, but uh, I decided to go for the pear one, or not different brands, different flavors. So uh, I'm gonna try each one of these on camera. Uh, I may hate them. <laughs> But uh, if you work for the company or if one of these are your favorite cider, please don't get angry. Like this is my first time trying it. I may hate it. I may love them all. But if I don't like it, don't go hating. Like I'm not going to crap on your favorite drink, but I'm just going to give my general, genuine and general opinion on what these taste like when I try them. So let's get started. I'm going to move these off to the side and I'll go from left to right. And I'll start with the Strongbow. Uh, Strongbow is a name I've heard of people, people mentioned it so many times. And I just, yeah, I was very curious when I saw this one. It's like, yeah, I know the name of that, but I didn't know, oh, I didn't know they had a cider. I love the snap of that. Okay, so here we go. 
Oh, what is that? It smells like beer, but it, there's an interesting, is that apple? It is an apple cider, but I didn't expect to smell apple. I smell green apple. That's what I'm smelling. Okay. I'm just going to try it. These are all chilled, by the way. I didn't freeze them. I usually like my liquor like ice cold, but these ones I just put them in the fridge for like 40 minutes. So they're all kind of chilled, but not cold. Here we go. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I, I don't even know how to describe it. It has the fizziness of a beer, but it doesn't have that. I don't even know how to describe it. It doesn't have that flavor that I don't know if it's the hops in a beer or whatever. Um, it doesn't have that flavor. It has more of a, you, I, I don't know. I like it. I actually like it. Like I could drink this. Actually, I'm going to drink it. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I like that. I think I'm going to be drunk tonight at this rate. Okay, that's a winner. I absolutely like that. I would buy that in a store. I would buy that and drink that again. I would buy a six pack and drink that whole thing in one night. Okay, so the next one is the second one. God, my mouth is watering from that now. Uh, the second one's Magners. This is one my friend recommended. Uh, the Irish Cider. And it's the original. So he basically told me when I wanted to start drinking cider, he said, buy a Strongbow and buy the Magners. We'll start there. Try both, see which one you like, and then we'll go from there and he'll recommend more. But because other people have recommended several other ones, I decided to go with these anyway. So I'm going to let my friend know back in Ireland uh, which ones I actually liked. So I guess he'll, he'll be happy to know that I like the Strongbow. So let's see the Magners. So this one is just a cider beverage. It doesn't say anything about a flavor. So I'm just guessing, okay, set, made with 17 varieties of apple. Yeah, so seven, several of these are apple, three of them are, but then I got the rose cider and I got the pear just for variety. There's also like black cherry and cherry and all these different ones, but I wasn't sure whether I'd like them at all and I didn't want to spend a ton of money. So let's go with the Magners. Okay, here it goes, down the hatch. Oh, 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 I almost burped there. Wow, okay. it's hard to describe. Okay, this one is kind of, it's got more of the fizz I'd expect when I when I had beer, but this is more, it's almost more carbonated like a soda drink. And the flavor of apple is way stronger. I like this even more. Holy crap. Oh, oh my God, I did not expect to like right off the bat, like the first two. Wow. Wow. I, I'm getting resisting the urge to burp. Okay. Put that off to the side. At this rate, I am definitely getting drunk tonight. <laughs> so the next one is Grower Cider Incorporated. Uh, it's their Honey Crisp Apple. I love the can too. The can's very cool looking. So this one is another apple one. All natural fruit flavor, no shortcuts, just great taste, plain and simple. So it's a flavored cider. So let's try this one. And this is a Canadian one. Uh, several, I think three of them are Canadian. Yeah, I think three of them are from Ontario. Um, and this one's one of them, 100% Canadian apples from 1922. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh my, oh, excuse me. Wow. Okay. This one is fantastic. 
The moment I started drinking this, I felt the fizz. It's like almost like a pop that's almost a uh, soda that's almost flat, but not quite. But then you get a really strong hit of apple. Like this has more apple flavor than these two. This is absolutely my favorite right now. Oh my God. Mm. Yeah. You can smell a really strong apple flavor. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, wow. Okay. That's fantastic. I am definitely drinking all of that first. And then I'll go to the other ones. Oh, my whole mouth. All I can taste is like green apple. And I can smell it in my nostrils now. Okay, so the next one is Summersby Pear Flavored Cider. This can's pretty cool too. I like uh, whoever the uh, designers are that design these cans, well done. Like, I love the work that goes into it. It's, it's artistry. Okay, so let's go try the pear one. I haven't had a pear in probably 15 years, so this is the first time I've had anything with pear in it. Okay, here we go. I'm not sure. I, I'm worried that one of these two final ones will be terrible, but okay, here we go. I don't know why I'm so nervous. <laughs> Oh, very strong pear flavor. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, this is fantastic. I can literally see these being like ice cold or putting this in a glass with ice to make it like nice and chilled, like, like really, really cold and then drinking it because the flavor of fruit is so strong in these. Oh, I love this. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, wonderful. Sorry. I'm losing myself. I don't want to stop drinking them, actually, because I really like them. But uh, I'll just drink them all off camera. It'll take too long to watch me drink them all. I could try to chug them, but yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay, so this one was the one that I just picked up randomly. Uh, I was looking for a different one from the Brickworks. Uh, I believe it was black cherry or cherry I was looking for, uh, but they didn't have it in stock. So I got the rose cider and this one's kind of cool. It's a rose colored can. You may not be able to see it on camera, but it's got a very slight um, metallic pink uh, coloring to it. Oh, my mouth is watering so much. Okay, so let's try this last one. This one is another uh, Canadian brand. I believe they're based in Toronto, actually. Yeah, they're based in Toronto. Okay, here we go. One more, the last one. Oh. Oh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Don't like that one. Oh, it's so bitter and not bitter in a good way. It's like, oh, mm -mm. no, I thought I'd be five for five, but oh, uh -uh. that one's going down the drain. Sorry, Brickworks. I wanted one of your other ones, but maybe it's the rose cider flavor thing, whatever the flavor is for this one. It says flavored cider, but it doesn't say what. Yeah, it doesn't say what it is other than rose cider. Yeah, I don't like this one. Sorry, Brickworks. I was looking for your cherry or black cherry one because uh, I like cherries in general. Mm -mm, I don't like that one. Oh, okay. So I'm going to sort these out. This absolutely is my least favorite. I can say without a doubt, absolutely my least favorite. However, this is something I didn't expect. I would say Growers is my favorite. Summer's Bee Pear is my second favorite. I'd say Magner's is my third favorite. Strongbow is a close fourth. 
and wrote, I don't even want to put this one in the grouping because I, I won't drink this, but this is, yeah, this is absolutely the ones I like the most. So first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. But uh, yeah, with that, I did not, I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect this to go the way I thought it was going to go. I thought I'd be struggling to get through all of these. I thought I wouldn't like them, but my mouth is still watering from drinking them. But I, I honestly, I'm just going to keep drinking these and I'm just going to finish them off tonight and just get them off my plate and then buy more. I'm definitely going to buy more of these. But with that, I am done. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for hanging in there to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button so you know when I post the next video. And don't forget to comment and let me know what you thought of the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.